spot. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. So let's go ahead and add to the difficulties of guys trying to cover receivers. They got to deal with speed, shiftiness, all that stuff. But how about when they have height and length and deep downfield, you throw the ball up in the air, that's how they uncover at the end of a route, by being able to go up over the top and make a big catch. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. And he's going to go down. He sacked back into 24. Shaquille Barrett in there to get him, and that's sack number six for him on the year. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Third and long. It's Griffin. And the pressure gets to him again. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed. the Cowboys and they split the uprights last time for three they've got the lead they're not going to play this conservative they're, they're not hoping for another field goal they're hoping for a touchdown I'm with you on that one I like where your head is I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right trying to sit on a lead and play that way that doesn't work too well for most teams run your offense run what you do best exactly put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way and the best way to do it touchdowns This is Bell. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We're back to East Rutherford, but first this time out. A reminder that coming up in two minutes, we'll check in with Larry Ridley in Orlando with highlights and analysis of this first half of play. And I'm going to check in with a heater. I'm going to be right there with you, Parker. They'll find the rookie from La Tech. It's Carlos Henderson. Touchdown, Cowboys! A big play there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. Los Angeles there in the second quarter now. And the Eagles out in front early. Doug Martin, a first-half touchdown. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. And a short gate across the 15 to the 17-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple of yards out of it. Because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. To throw is RG3. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. As they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Throwing on first down. Griffin escaping the pressure right. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. And before the second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage, look defensively. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. If they're gonna get a first down out of this.
to earn it because there's been tough going in the interior there. And here we are on third and one. Be prepared. Brace yourself. Could be some contact going on. On third and one, Griffin. Rush coming, and he's taken down. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it. Meanwhile, out in Los Angeles, they're in the second quarter now. And the Eagles out in front early. Doug Martin, a first-half touchdown. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. The second half starts with a carry by Bell. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. To throw on second down, Griffin. Now look out, Griffin hit, and he lost the football. It's loose. And who's got it? The Giants. Tackle and the extra effort moves the sticks. Officially a gain of just a yard there, but they do convert on third and inches. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. On first and ten, Griffin. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Robert Ayers in there to get him. And that's sack number 12 for him on the year. That's the second sack of the game. And the best defensive ends, they do their hard work as much as offensive guys do. They know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them. What moves they need to do to set them up. This guy's been pretty good at it all game long. That one good for 17 as they're set up better now for third down. The Cowboys on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll run it with Bell. And he brings this up to the 46, good enough for the first. He needed a yard, that's what he got, and it's going to earn him a new set of downs. We ought to come up with a T-shirt and sell it that says, no indecision on third and one. And we didn't see it on that run, did we? Got his shoulders square, just got right into the line of scrimmage and picked it up. Absolutely. Picked his lane, went with it, and converted. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Cowboys. Chris Conley, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. now to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Cowboy offense heading out. Let's take a look at the playoff picture coming into the weekend in the NFC. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and ten. They'll start the drive with a carry by Bell. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. 
Brandon, it's all about pace and tempo now for them. They've got the advantage, so I'm going to put musical terms for you. You don't want to go prestissimo. That's too quick, too lively, right? But you also don't want to slow it down too much. You don't want to go lento. What you really want to be is moderato. Oh, nice and even, oh. nice and steady. Get those gains and close out the game. I think that chicken farm from last night's gone to your head. <laughs> Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. Partner as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Bell. And he might have got this across midfield, not by much. They'll mark it down at the 49. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. The Cowboys on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and seven. From the shotgun, Griffin. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. And yeah, that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Chris Conley, his 10th touchdown of the season, second of the game. Here's Bell. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. He finds an opening past the 40. Le'Veon Bell, kiss him goodbye. Touchdown, Cowboys. Le'Veon Bell, 71 yards. And...